When the last Baja race was held here 16 years ago, most of these competitors were just out of baby buggies. Copy that. Now, they're designing dune buggies for Baja racing. My dad made sure all of us girls knew the basics, but not too much. Now, so what are the basics? Well, we needed to know how to change our oil before we could get our driver's licenses, but change a tire, brake job. <laughs> A hundred teams flew in or drove in from all over, some from nearby states. University of um, uh, Arkansas in um, uh, Fayetteville. Some from afar. Purdue, Virginia Tech, University of Buffalo, and Central Florida. And some. I cannot understand your language. From really far. You're from South Korea. That's like 35 hours. By plane. By plane. A bird's eye view of the parking lot revealed the base camp where racers tweak their rides. <laughs> Five events were set up in the foothills weaving in and around Utah. They help drivers practice hill climbing, maneuvering, accelerating, braking, and even rough riding. Enough to get teams ready for Sunday's four-hour race. Enough activity to make your head spin. I was standing up on the hill watching what was going on, and I was the lead frame designer. So seeing it flip after not even two days of competition was a little nerve-wracking for me. Students here say the real trophy isn't what's gained by being fastest through these rocky roads. They say the pot of gold at the end of their collegiate rainbows rests in the hands of a hiring manager. I'll probably be working on diesel engines for Cummins. Alex Shrek, ABC7.